So this next clip is slightly longer and I mainly chose it due to the fact that it had Skype audio on it uh, and it kind of breaks up the other clips a little bit and lets the viewers know kind of what our thought process is while playing, you know, what we talk about, what we call. Uh, there's some pretty quick reaction stuff like calling deep polys and that sort of thing to, to CS them. Uh, but at the same time it's kind of like a bit slower than it looks because a lot of what we do is planned out uh, in the long term, you know, getting cooldowns used and forcing trinkets, that sort of stuff. So what I'm looking to do here is just try and stay away from their mage. Uh, I'm staying at the top at the moment. Uh, I'd probably like to reposition down the bottom but it's a bit screwed up. Our communication was a bit messed up this game. We didn't have marks, that sort of thing. Uh, but we may do and it made for a pretty good clip in the end so Fnobis is just derping around underneath not really sure what he was doing but it wasn't too much of a problem I managed to save him uh, and I just go to this side just to try and lose Raikou and get some dispels in on Mir uh, and because we've got no marks Fnobis goes to the other side so I have to quickly cross the bridge to keep him up but Mir gets some peels on the rogue so we're okay uh, I'm just jumping a little bit here because the loss on the corner is kind of messed up I'm not really sure what that was about uh, and unfortunately I get deep sheeped here uh, and he fakes me on the kick so I can't death either because I'm out of range at the top uh, so Mir's going to take a little bit of damage here and luckily their rogue is nowhere to be seen uh, but he opens again and I managed to get a shield on Mir in between the sheeps uh, which pretty much saves him. Uh, I have to trinket the blind and unfortunately I get CS which is really bad because Snoop is in a poly here. So the only thing I can do really is mana burn which is kind of worth it I guess. Uh, and I managed to get the shield as soon as CS ends on Mir on 1% uh, but unfortunately he gets wind and cloak so I can't heal him up to 4 with this him before he has to get back on the mage. So I quickly run and I managed to get a spell on this Nova here which was pretty key because we managed to force a block now uh, and I just go for the MD on about 20% something like that and luckily he blocks right as I do it which looks pretty nice and uh, here everyone's pretty much topped and I can't really get a fear on the priest just because I'm going to expose myself to the mage too much so I go for a quick fear on both of them just to restabilize uh, and then move out of loss of the mage again and we were considering going for a nuke on the rogue here but he actually trinkets kidney so we just abandon it and play safe uh, and we move back up the top because Fnobis kind of low on mana anyway and I'm on about half so I take this opportunity to try and get some quick drinks um, we've got the advantage because we're at the top we've got eyes um, they're down the bottom so I sit down for a quick drink and I'm not in the best spot but uh, Fnobis moves to the middle of the bridge so the rogue can't really come too offensive and he takes an eye tries to get the rogue out um, He's not successful with it really, uh, so I just jump down just to avoid getting step sapped in the middle of the bridge, which would have been really bad since I don't have trinket and I would have just basically had to use PS because they would have nicked me really hard and I'm not wearing that much resilience. Uh, unfortunately, Mir gets sapped, but Fenobi's able to get a Nova on the Rogue and I'm very far from the maze so I can easily heal him up, which is no problem at all. And I'm literally just spamming heals into Mir to try and negate their opener without using any cooldowns uh, and I'm kind of waiting for the mage to come and, and deep sheep me uh, so I call it out and Fnobi managed to get a sheep on the mage before he gets a sheep on me uh, and then I managed to death the next one uh, and now I'm just panicking because I know the rogue's got blind my trinkets up and I want to try and death it you know but I don't have death up so we got a kidney on him and delayed his blind and I went for the death and got lucky uh, here it's like really touch and go, it's like do I go offensive, do I go defensive, so instead I just call for mid to use cloak uh, and I go offensive and unfortunately the rogue gets cheat death but doesn't die uh, so I move away and I trinket the poly there, I should have really deathed that, that was my bad uh, because now I had to waste trinket on the poly which wasn't really ideal I make the mistake here of just moving back slightly what I should have done is stayed next to the mage um, or at least near the edge because by moving back it makes it easy for him to poly me or fake poly me so that I can't death it and once he's done that he gets a free poly on me without deepen uh, which happens here it's a lot more dangerous for me to go offensive since he doesn't have cloak but we go for it anyway just 
because we don't really have too much of a choice and I get out of the poly and just try and get there as quickly as possible. I go for the MD here just in case he blocks, he doesn't in the end, I should have gone for the Nova instead and I managed to fill with the fear at the last second which was kind of lucky. Um, and I got a fear on them as well. Oh man, here you can see again the loss on this match pretty screwed up, I get deep from like down the bottom through the world or something and poly. Um, but they don't do too much with it and Mir's got his cloak back up so he just pops that uh, unfortunately gets Novid in cloak which I was sort of slow to dispel wasn't really expecting that uh, but I get it off him before the end of the cheap shot and get the MD on the mage and he just gets a backstab in and he dies